Hi, my name is John Fallon. I'm the Senior Microbiologist at Airmed Health Group and today I'm going to talk to you about our range of uh, testing services for antimicrobial finishes and other products. An antimicrobial surface could be anything which has received a chemical or physical treatment which can reduce the viability of bacterial or fungal microorganisms and where these can be found or can be applicable are on plastics, on ceramics, on glass so, and, and, and on textiles. So there's a wide variety of uh, different surfaces which they can be applied to. An antimicrobial surface validation study can refer to any uh, particular set of protocols or experiments which set out to show the level of effectiveness of a bacteriostatic or bactericidal or fungostatic or fungicidal uh, ability of a particular treatment, whether that be on a surface or even a particular solution or chemical. Uh, at Airmed Health Group we do these in line with several uh, different uh, standards, international standards, which we will be uh, discussing today. Uh, we do three main uh, tests, antimicrobial surface validation study tests here, um, which include ISO 27447 2009, which is for advanced technical ceramics, but can also be for glass and plastic. Uh, ISO 22196, which is uh, for particularly for plastics and other non-porous surfaces. And uh, ISO 20743, which is primarily just for textiles only. Well, ISO 27447 are commonly uh, is used for the determination of the bactericidal uh, effectivity of treatments um, such as uh, of light activated treatments which have been placed in glass or ceramics. Uh, this can also be uh, done uh, for plastics as well. Well, in terms of the practicalities of how the uh, test is actually done. Um, a predetermined concentration of bacteria will be grown uh, in liquid solution overnight and this is then placed onto the surface of the ceramic, in this case, or indeed the glass, which of interest. So after a period of light exposure, uh, the number of viable bacteria that are left on the surface of the treated material is uh, quantified by initially washing and then plating out on a suitable agar. And this is stand the, how this is standardised then is against the recovery of bacteria at time zero and then the recovery of bacteria against the untreated surface. Well, the value of the test is that a client can assess their product comprehensively in an objective and uh, fact-based manner. So, the data that's generated through here, is, provided that the product is actually working correctly, is reproducible and is evidence-based. Well, as for the ISO protocol, the standard microorganisms, microorganisms that you use are Staphylococcus aureus and E. coli. However, in our own experience, we have adapted this protocol on numerous occasions to use different microorganisms as specified by the client. Yes, certainly. Well, today we have focused only on ISO tests, but in a later blog post we will uh, discuss other uh, such tests, such as AATCC and ASTM protocols, um, and these uh, you'll now see on screen. Yes, well, certainly it's, uh, while the in vitro studies at the bench level are very, very interesting, where we can add real value at Airmed Health Group is to be able to bring these products and services uh, to understand their full potential using our in-house envir environmental test chamber. So I hope this has been uh, helpful in terms of uh, showing you all the different tests which we uh, perform at Airmed Health Group. If you'd like any further information as to how we can add value uh, to the claims which, we, which you are making for particular products, uh, please don't hesitate to visit our website.